Okay, this is going to be a short video showing how to install DNN using the new Azure portal and the marketplace. In the past, we would go to the uh, web gallery or the app gallery and the Azure portal, uh, but in the new uh, portal, uh, that changes slightly. So here I'm going to go into the marketplace, and this may take a few seconds to come up. And once it comes up, we can go into web and mobile, or we could do a search directly for uh, DNN platform. And this is going to show me two options. I've got the, the DNN platform, which is our official release, but there's also a VM if you wanted to just start from a VM. Uh, that Cognosis has uh, has created. So I'm going to start with the DNM platform. Uh, that's going to bring up another blade in my in my portal. And so it's going to give me a little bit of information here, uh, and I can go ahead and create from that. Okay, that's going to bring up our blade for entering some information about the app. So I'm just going to do say DNN demo 56 and then uh, we'll leave it in my subscription. We'll go ahead and use a resource group that I've already got. Um, let's just grab one here and we're going to use the uh, the one here, maybe I'll just use the one here from DNN Connect, so I know I can delete that easy enough. Um, that's going to put us in East US for the database. Uh, we're going to have to set up a new database for the And now I've got my database blade up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new database. I'm just going to call it DNN Demo 56. We'll leave the pricing tier alone. Uh, we need to set what server I want the database server I want that on. Since the resource group that I'm using doesn't have a database server in it, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'll just call it DNN Demo 56 again. I give it my username and password. Again, we'll locate this in East US. Okay, and go ahead and select that. And everything else looks fine. We'll select that. And now I've got my database selected, my app service location, uh, everything else is done. We can go ahead and create. And now it's actually creating the web app in uh, Azure. Now keep in mind that the version of this application may not be the latest version of DNN. Uh, we're still working to figure out how they're uh, putting DNN uh, into the marketplace uh, and what's driving that. Uh, so you likely will need to upgrade DNN uh, using the FTP credentials that you get as part of your web app. So in a minute here, the resources for this will finish deploying and uh, I'll be able to go ahead and start doing uh, an upgraded installation. So I'll just FTP files over the top of what's already there. Keep in mind that when you do this, you want to FTP the upgrade package files up not the install package files. If you do the install package files, it will overwrite your web config uh, and overwrite uh, anything that, that may be in there if you've already done the install. So do the install just like normal, FTP the files up into that location and everything should just work. Um, I've not had any problems doing multiple uh, installs of this. 